Let's get in his word. This morning I will be coming from the book of Jeremiah. Amen. The book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1. Amen. And I'll be reading verses 4 through 10, and then I'm going to skip over to verses 17 through 19. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 1. Verses 4 through 10. And then I'm going to skip over to verse 17 through 19. Amen. All right, the scripture reads Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. All right. Before you were born, I sanctified you, I ordained you a prophet to the nations. All right. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. Mm -hmm. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, mm -hmm. for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Amen. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down, to build up, and to plant. And going over to verse 17 through 19, Scripture says, Therefore prepare yourself and arise and speak to them all that I have commanded you. <coughs> Do not be dismayed before their faces, lest I dismay you before them. Behold, I have made you this day a fortified city and an iron pillar, a bronze wall against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes, against its priests, against and against the people of the land. They will fight against you, but, shall, but they shall not prevail against you, for I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. Amen. May God add a blessing Amen. to the readers, hears, and doers of his holy Amen. word. Amen. Let us go to God in prayer, Father God. We thank you once again for your grace and your mercy, Father God. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to preach your gospel. Amen. And to teach your word, Father God. We pray, Lord, that you will prep our hearts and search our hearts and mind, Father God. And that if there's any iniquity in our hearts right now, we pray, Lord, that you will just remove it, Father God creating us a clean heart, Father God. And we want clean hands, oh Lord Please, God, Father yes, God, Lord God, to be able to freely worship you in spirit and in truth right now, Father God. We don't want yes, anything to hinder what you have for us right yes, now, Father yes, God. Any stumbling blocks right now, Father God. Any ways of the world that continues to trip us up. Yes. Like you say, that sin that so easily besets us, Father God. We pray, Lord, that you will move it out of the way right now, Lord. Right now, Father God. Yes. We pray, Lord, that you will uh, prepare our hearts, Father God, to yes, be fertile ground right now, yes, Father God, so that your word may take root in our heart and not yes, fall on a stony heart, Father God, or not allow, not allow the world to, to spring up like weeds and choke it yes, out right now, yes, Father God. God. But we want to protect it and hide it in our, in our hearts right now, yes, Father God, so that we may be uh, manifested before you right now, Father God. Just like your word says in Isaiah, Father God, as the rains come down and the dew come down from the, from the sky, don't come back void, mm -hmm. but it does what you accomplish for it to do, Father God. That's how your word will do in our lives if yes. we apply it right now, Father God. Your word is made to produce life in us right now, Father God. So we just pray, Lord, that we will take your word seriously right now, yes, Father God, and apply it to our everyday life, Father God, yes, so we may see the fruits right now, Father God, so that we may be successful in our daily walk right now, Lord God. And we just say thank you. Thank you. Thank in your son, Jesus. Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. So I'm going to title this this morning, You Are Greater Than What You See Right Now. Amen. All right. Okay? You Jesus. are greater. Talking to y'all. You are greater than what you see right now. Amen. 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 So I want to just kind of just talk about how important it is, y'all, all right, for us to develop 
a healthy self-image, okay? To develop a healthy self-image and, and to start to challenge yourself to see, see yourself the way God sees you. Jesus. Do you feel what I'm saying? Because a, 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 lot of, a, lot of, a lot of our downfall, or should I say, the key, a vital key to being successful and, 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 and walking in your full potential, it lies in your self-image. Mm -hmm. Okay? How you really see yourself. And it, and it can make the difference from, from you walking in success, okay, mm -hmm. opposing to you walking beneath what God has called you to be. Mm -hmm. do, do you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yes. but, it, but, it's, but, it's, but it's based on how do you see yourself, okay? Uh, listen, we can all see the potential in other people. We can see potential yeah. in, in each other. We can say, you know what? You got the potential to reach higher heights. Mm -hmm. You got the potential to do this. We can yeah. see things in other people, but until you see that thing in yourself, you'll never reach it. Amen. Am I speaking to anybody? Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? Has anybody ever told you I see something in you? Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? I see something in you. I want you to go, I want you to go higher. Okay, I think you have what it takes to run this company. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. I think you have what it takes to be the next. Man. Business manager. Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. To be the next captain or something. Yeah. To, to, yeah. to be the next. I, I see something in you. But until you see that in yourself, yeah. till you see yourself the way God sees you, it will not be manifested. Right. Right now. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so for so many years, y'all, I believe many of us has, has struggled with, with some form of self, self image. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about self image, Okay, it, it's just it's just your view yep. of your your yourself, to, to, your totality self. That that's from your 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 outer appearance. Okay, to down to the even the things that's on the inside of you. All right. Okay, how you really see yourself, and a lot of, and, a, and a lot of us have struggled for so long with a poor self image. Mm -hmm. Okay, to the point to where we we don't even attempt. Okay, to grow in life. We, we don't even attempt to try to shoot for things in life because you got a, you got a poor self-image of, you, of yourself. Am, am, I, am I close in it? Am I, am I close in it? I can, I can say this about myself because I know. And, 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 and the scripture said we all, we all suffer some of the same things. I got to say, well, I guess it's somebody else that's feeling the same way. Do you feel what I'm saying? But, but, but that poor self-image, it'll, it'll, it'll stunt you. From even trying, okay? From even trying to, 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 to try to achieve something, okay? It'll, it'll stop you from trying to even attempt to get that promotion on the job. All right. Okay? It'll stop you from, from even opening that, that, that business or even going to college or even going out for a certain, a certain ball team or whatever the case is, okay? But, but the thing about it is if you don't have the view of yourself the way God sees you, it's a distorted view. All right. That's right. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? If you're not looking at yourself the way Jesus. God sees you, I don't care what I don't care what That's it right. is. It's That's wrong. Right. All right. All right. So so listen, we have to get to that place, y'all. Okay, to where we're aiming and we're shooting higher and we're asking God, listen, how do you see me? Okay? What do you see in me? Because I want to see myself. The way you see yes. me. Amen. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? Amen. Because right, listen, a lot of us, God has blessed us with so many gifts mm -hmm. and yes. so many talents. I, yes. I guarantee you that this, that's a plethora of gifts that's yes. sitting in Tabernacle right now. Amen. Amen. But it's sitting in Tabernacle yes. right now yes. and not doing the gift. Do you feel what I'm saying? Because of how you see yourself. I can't do that. Jeez. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? They, they can do that. I wasn't built for this. I wasn't built for that. And you don't realize that your gift can be a blessing to the church. Do you feel what I'm saying? You can be a, it can be a blessing to your family. It can be a blessing to the community. Amen? But you can only manifest that thing if, if you start to see yourself the way God sees you. That's what I'm saying. We can't do it for you. That's All right. right, people can't do it for That's you. Right. I think it from a, from the perspective uh, uh, of, of coaching, you can see something in a kid and say, "You listen, you got all the potential. 
You can tell them, you, but you can't go out there and play for them. That's right. You can't get on the court or the field and play for them. They have to see that for themselves. Mm -hmm. So that's my prayer that, 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 that we will be able, we will start to see ourselves the way God sees Amen. us. Okay? Y'all, they've even done studies. <clears throat> they've even done studies, okay, on, 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 on successful people. All right, and they, and they sit they sit them down and they and they and they ask, you know, what was it? What was the determining factor? Because a lot of times we make excuses, okay, about why we are the way we are and why we don't have or or, or achieve different things, y'all. Mm -hmm. They they did studies on people who came from the poorest of neighborhoods, mm -hmm. or they even came from the wealthiest of neighborhood. Okay, you can come from the same neighborhood, but one one person will succeed in life but the other one will continue to fail over and over and over again. Do you feel what I'm saying? You can take two from a wealthy neighborhood, okay? One will succeed and one will continue to fail over and over and over again. And they did the study on them, all right? And it all goes back to the mindset. Yes. It all goes back to your mindset yes. because one actually believed that they can be something, okay? So they go after this thing. You got one that says, I can't, and one that says, I can't. You got one that says, I'm incapable of doing this, and the other one say, I'm highly capable of doing this. Do you, do you feel what I'm saying? That makes the difference, okay? Same background, same education, all right? Same resources. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? Not one is smarter than the other. Two might have education, the other two might not have education. So the, the, the playing field was even. That, All that, right. That's what I'm trying to make the point. The playing field was even. Come on. But you say, what happened to them? All right, and they yeah. continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over again. They got a poor self-image. Yeah. They don't feel like they deserve this. Jesus. They feel incompetent. Do you feel what I'm saying? They feel insecure. They feel in, in, uh, unloved. And they let that control them. Okay, and that's how they see themselves, as a failure. Yes. So they continue to fail over and over yes. and over again. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yes. Now, now yes. I do, let me say this. I do know there's a lot of instances where you might have grew up in a household where your parents or your grandparents or, or relatives always put you down over something. Yes. Okay, that's just their way. You can't do that. Why are you trying to, what? You trying to go work in the city? That ain't, that ain't all family. Do you feel what I'm saying? Right. Or you think you all, you think you all of that. And, and if you're not careful, their views of you will become your views of yourself. Yes. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? Yes. Because they're trying to keep you in a box. That's right. They're trying to keep you in that box. Okay? But listen, don't believe what the world says about you. Only believe what God says about you. Amen. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so we got to get to that place, y'all. We're tapping into our real gifts and our potential, man, and, and develop a healthy self-image. Develop a, a healthy self-image. I'm going to try not to stay up here too long. All right? <clears throat> but this is one of my favorite prophets. All right? Jeremiah is one of my favorite pro prophets. Yeah. When you talk about Jeremiah, okay, Jeremiah. Amen. <laughs> that, mean, that means a lot to Sister Ray too. Amen. 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 Jeremiah. <laughs> Amen. When Jeremiah was the prophet, y'all. But but see, in, in, in his early stages of his ministry, Jeremiah, he didn't see himself the way God saw him. That's right. Okay? He struggled right. with self-identity. Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? He, he, he struggled with insecurities. Yes. Okay, he struck. He, he, he struggled. He struggled to believe the very thing that God had called him to do. Okay, and I read where I read where even scholars they 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 they, they wrestle with what his name meant. Because one 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 set of scholars said his name meant the Lord exalts. Okay, another set of scholars said that his name meant the Lord establishes. Okay, and that stood out to me. Okay, the word establish. Because when you talk about developing a mindset, and I believe this with all my heart, God was trying to develop and, and, and establish 
a mindset in Jeremiah for him to start seeing himself the way God sees him. Amen. Okay? That, and that's what God is trying to do with us. Right. Okay, he's trying to do, right. he's trying to establish first of all a relationship with him. Okay, yes. listen. When you talk about the word establish, y'all, that that means that it's that's that's permanent. That's firm. Mm -hmm. You see these builders downtown that say it was established in eighteen such and such. It was set, sealed, and delivered. Okay, mm -hmm. that means that, that means it's 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 permanent. That's what God is trying to get us to see all to right. see in ourselves to develop and establish a permanent relationship with Him. Okay, and establish a mindset that won't go away that you are who God says that's you it. are. That's it. Amen. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what he was trying to do with Jeremiah. And I and I love the fact, I love the fact that he listen, God, God will never leave you or send you to a place, okay, without first affirming who you are in him. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what I'm saying? Right he would never put it out there. He, right. Listen, he would never send you to a place or on an assignment, mm -hmm. okay, and force you to walk in something without mm -hmm. first affirming who you really are. Okay. Do you feel what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a witness to that. Yep. Yes. The thing that was going on on the inside of me that I knew that was God's voice. Yep. Now you got other people saying, yep. Yep. you going to be, mm -hmm. you got something do you feel what I'm saying? God was speaking it to me. Okay, now other people coming up saying it's something in you. Yes. Okay, this ain't it. Mm -hmm. It's it's something greater in you. Yes. But listen, it could not have manifested until my mind lines That's up. That's right. That's it. Do you feel what am I talking to anybody? Yes. Until my mind lined up, I said, people can yes. say it, God can say it, but until that thing lined up with you. You will never yeah. walk in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you this. If God is speaking, it ain't going to go away now. Sure. I can tell you, I, I, I'm, I'm serious. If, if you want to start, if you want to just continue to have sleepless nights, yes. do, do you yeah. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So if he's speaking to you about something, listen, act on it. Act on it. Yes. You will not rest. That It will not go away. Do you feel what I'm saying? But, but he told Jeremiah this. He spoke words of affirmation. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before I, but listen, before I formed you in the womb, I already knew you. I already knew you, son. I knew you, daughter. I already had plans for you. Do you feel what I'm saying? I, I, I know, listen, I know where you are right now, but that ain't the end. I know the plans I got for you. And that's what he said in Jeremiah 29 and 11. I know the future. I have for you. Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? Before yeah. I conceived you in the womb. Before I formed you in the womb. That's right. Amen. But listen, before you were born, I set you apart. That's Jesus. It. Before you were even born, I had already sanctified yes. you. I set you apart for a, a specific purpose. Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? I set you apart. Not people. Amen. I set you apart for something. I established you. Okay? Then he goes on to say, I ordained you to be a prophet for the nations. Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? I ordained you. Just listen. Yes. Jeremiah's destiny was set before he was even conceived. Y'all. Right. Okay? God knew what he had for you before you was even born. Yes. yes. All right? And I know we go through stages in life. Okay, in this in this moment, physically, he's not walking in his calling as a prophet, but God said, oh, You already God. that though. <laughs> you're already that. Even though you're not even you born know. yet, that's what, that's what I'm saying. You 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 in the womb, but you're already a prophet. Jesus. Do you feel what I'm saying? You might have been on drugs, but that ain't who you are in Christ. Oh, Do you feel what I'm saying? You might you might have been sleeping around town, but that ain't who you are in Christ. Jesus. You might be an alcoholic, but that ain't who you are in Christ. You're, listen, you're not the sum of your mistakes, man. Hey, that ain't who you are. You're hey, greater hey. than who you are right now. Hey, you're greater hey. than what you see right now. Yes. Yes. And I wish we as a people of God to, can, can yes. just grip that, man. Yes. To just, just grip that. I, listen, I don't care what society says. Mm. 
I don't care what I don't care what the people I don't care what your family says about you. Jesus. It only matters what God says about you. That's right. That's, That's it. Right. That's right. And walking this walk and walking your calling, you will get lonely. Amen. Let me let me let me say that much. My Lord. Because Jeremiah got to a place, y'all, when he did walk in his calling, he faced a lot of trials. He found himself lonely, okay? He wasn't even permitted to be married. Do you feel what I'm saying? Some of the, some, you know how we get some of our earthly desires that we want on this life, okay? But, but that we think we got to have. Do you feel what I'm saying? You're going to have to forfeit that if you're going to walk in the car. Jesus. Jesus. Do you, do you feel what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, it's far more greater than you can ever imagine. Amen. Jesus. It's far more greater than you can ever imagine. But he told Jeremiah, listen, I ordained you, okay, and set you to be a prophet over nations. So Jeremiah, Jeremiah, in the beginning, he could not see himself the way God saw That's him. That's right. Okay? He, he just couldn't see it. All right? And, and I can't knock right, him. Boy. I can't knock Jeremiah because we're all like that. Yeah. We're all like that. Because yeah. we look at our, we look yes. at our, listen, we look at our current situation. That's what he was doing. His response to, to what God had just told him. This is God talking. Okay? And Jeremiah said, Wait, hold on. What? Hold on, Lord. Then he said, "Behold." He said, "Look at me. Look at me. Are you are you sure? Who, 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 are you sure you're talking about Jeremiah? Are you talking about me? Who pro, a prophet? Lord, I'm just a child. All right. I'm only a youth. Woo. Jesus. I, I can't. I can't be a prophet. Y'all know how we do. I ain't yeah. smart enough. That's it. Do you feel what I'm saying? I don't have enough money. All right. I don't have. I don't have the right resources to do what you're calling right. me to do, yes. Lord. Y'all know how we do. You're right. Yes. But, but but he said I'm just a youth. There's no way. And, and, and listen, Jeremiah actually understood. He understood the importance of being a prophet. Okay, right. and to, and to him, listen, his human self said that that's impossible. Right, Jesus. You're talking about speaking to kings. Jesus. You're talking about Jesus. speaking to priests. Mm -hmm. All right, people who've been, listen, people who have walked with God for 30, 40 years. Now you want a little bitty old me to come up and preach to them. All right. Lord, they're going to kill me. Jesus. But that's how we do. That's yep. how we do. Right, Even on our job. Yep. You right listen, about. you're the best candidate for that position. Jesus. Who else they gonna pick? But no, I don't think it's I don't think that's for me. Yep. That ain't listen. Oh. That ain't uh, uh, no, I'm gonna sit down back here. I hope they don't say nothing to me. Okay, I hope they don't really call me out to go to this meeting. Do you feel what I'm saying? I hope they don't do this because that's not my personality. All these different yes. things we come up with. All right? But, who, but you know the job better than anybody. Expose it, Lord. <laughs> it's Expose in you. Lord. It's in you. Expose it, Lord. Jesus. You know it better than anybody else. Yep. Yep. Jesus. Who else they supposed to pick? They trying to be fair because they see something in you that you don't even want to do. Mm. That you don't see in yourself. Jesus. But that's, that's how we do it. We limit God. Oh. Okay? Oh. And in oh. consequence, we limit ourselves. Thank you for your okay, word, there's a blessing in walking Thank in the you, call Jesus. of God, y'all. Yes, it is. There's, there's many blessings. Mm. When, you, when you just say, okay, Lord, I surrender. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing, but you know. You, you said you yes. set, listen, you said you set me apart, Lord. Yes. I'm going to believe you set me apart. Yes. You said there's something greater for me. I can't see it, but you see it. Yes. Amen? Amen. And, and listen, he went on to tell Jeremiah, he said, listen, don't you say that. Don't say you're just you. Yes. Don't say that. Stop speaking those things, y'all. Yes. I can't do this. Yes. I can't do that. Yes. Stop speaking that. Yes. Start to speak what God says. Amen. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? Yes. And he said, when you go into these arenas, he's listen, this is what he said. You're going to go where I tell you to go, and you're yes. going to speak what I tell yes. you to speak. Yep. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? Yes. Just, 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 just do what I'm telling you to do. Amen. Stop overthinking things. 
Okay? Stop overthinking it. Yes. Trying to reason your way of why you can't do something. You better say it, man. Y'all, we're limiting ourselves. And all he's saying is, listen, son, just go, go to Nineveh. That's all I'm telling you to do. Don't even ask questions. Just go where he's telling you to go and say what he's telling you to say. Okay? Then he said, listen, don't be afraid of their faces. Amen. Don't be afraid of their faces. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be some people that try to intimidate you. Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? It's going to be some people that try to intimidate you because they're intimidated by you. All right. Do you feel what I'm saying? They're intimidated what by what's in you. Yeah. They don't have they they don't they, this they wish they possess the things that's on the inside of God's people, man. They wish they had that. So because they don't, they want to put they want to put fear in you oh to try God. to keep you from wow. reaching your goal. Yeah. That's yeah. what they're trying to do. Yeah. Well, you know you can't do that. What's, who, who you think? Who do you think you are? Hey man, now this job gonna be too hard for you. All right. Hey man, you ain't got enough education. What are you, what are you trying to do? Hey man, you're not the right candidate for this. All right. But he's calling you out. But, but he said, listen, don't be afraid of their faces. Hey man, yeah, they gonna look at this. They gonna look at you as just, as if you're beneath them. Jesus. Do you feel what I'm saying? That's how they gonna look down yes. on you, as if you're beneath them. Yes. Jeez. Don't be afraid of their faces. That's Don't walk right. in fear for them. That's right. Don't walk in fear of them. That's right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank God you, Lord. said He didn't give us the spirit of fear. Amen. What can man do to me? What can man do to us, man? What can man do to us? Stop letting man stop you from reaching Amen. your destiny, man. Yes. You're greater than what you see right yes. now. Yes. You're greater than that. God, oh, we are God's people, man. We are God's chosen people. And His Spirit lives on the inside of us. Yes. That means it's a power that raised Jesus Christ yes. from the dead that lives on the inside of me. I can conquer anything. I'm more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror. I refuse to let another man make fit, put fear in my heart for me not to reach my potential in God. Do you feel what I'm saying? And I beg each and every one of you to stop letting people yes. put fear in you. Yes. Stop letting other people dictate your future, man. They're going to continue to do that. Don't be afraid of their faces. Because God said, listen, I'm with you. I will, I will deliver you from them. Jesus. Don't you be afraid of them. Jesus. All right? Listen, one of the scriptures said, listen, don't be dismayed by their faces or Amen. else I'm going to dismay you. Come on. I didn't read that part. Come on. Don't be dismayed Come from on. their faces or else I'm going to dismay you. Right. So there's consequences if you yes. don't walk in That's right. with it boldness. Is. It's it consequences. Yes, it so is. if he call you to do something, do it with boldness. Amen. He got you. Amen. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yes. God has you, man. Yes. And, 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 and listen, one thing I love about this, this whole story, because I see myself. Mm -hmm. The first time I heard this scripture some years ago, yes. and that thing stuck to me like glue. Mm. Like glue. And I said, man, Jesus. I've been limiting myself mm. based on what people mm. think. Jesus. Based on people's views of me. Mm. And I developed Y'all remember, you hear people say, you hear people say when I was in the world, I did all kind of things. Yeah. And listen, I had my own self-image then. Do you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when I, be, when, I be, when I began to, to give my life, when I gave my life to Christ, yeah. okay, <laughs> you, 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 I don't know, it, it's, and, and Satan, I'm going to say this. Satan don't want us to see our full potential. That's right. Okay? That's right. That, that's why that's why you was bold and bad when you was in the world. Because it because it was okay for him. Uh -huh. yeah. He good. And it's like, man, what did that what what, what did my courage go to? Okay? What, 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 did all, what did my boldness go to? Satan stopped it because he started to try to put fear That's in your it. mind. He don't want you to listen. He don't want you to be as bold in Christ as you was in the world. That's 
right. Do you feel what I'm saying? That's right. He wants to keep you in bondage to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a lot of us struggle, before I move on, a lot of us struggle with, with that self-image, okay, of how people view us yeah. mm -hmm. because we have developed a certain image. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I speak for myself. You have developed a certain image, and you know that's how people see you, mm -hmm. okay? But God is calling you to something higher, yeah. and you're afraid if you change, <laughs> if you move in that direction, you're going to forfeit the image that you've yeah. already had. That's right. <laughs> does, does that make sense? Yeah, yes. Yeah, cool, if, you, if you was known, okay, if you was known for that guy swag. With, 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 with swag or whatever it is, when you show up to the party, because we just had the supplies. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? I had the supplies. I'm just, I'm just trying to be real right now. So, so that was my identity. I ain't coming in for him because I'm, I'm good. But, but that's the image what people seen, so I had to walk in it every single time. Do you feel what I'm saying? So when, when, when God began to move me into another dimension, okay, I, had, I went through a scene and I'm like, who am I now? Yeah. Who am I now? I'm not that guy because I'm a fool with that right. illegal right. no more. Right. Do you feel what I'm saying? So, okay. you, so, you, so you start to walk in, 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 in a state of confusion. It's like, who am I now? Yeah. Man, that ain't who I am no more. And then your friends will say, I, 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 I didn't had a friend tell me that before. What? I heard you don't smoke no more. Yeah. <laughs> he pulled up on me. I never forget this. Flag me down. I was at, I'm back at home one day. I heard you don't smoke. Boy, well, I can't fool with you no more. I'm like, what? <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Okay, then. <laughs> All right. But, but, see, but see, listen, but that's Satan trying to keep us in bondage to that certain self-image. Do, do you feel what I'm saying? So we cannot allow people to, to dictate who we are. Okay? Listen, and then listen. God said this. Jeremiah flipped it and said, then the Lord Touch. He, he reached out his hand mm -hmm. and he touched my mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then he put my listen, he put his words in my mouth. Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? Y'all, that's confirmation and affirmation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. It, it helped him with his fear. Like, I can't speak, Lord. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to address these people. But don't, don't worry, son. Yes. Don't worry, daughter. Yes. I'm going to put my yes. words in your mouth. Yes. So everything that God is trying to get you to do, he's already equipping Amen. To walk in that. That's right. Amen. To walk in that success. He's not going to leave you empty handed. That's it. He's going to equip you. Like that. That, and, and, and that's the thing, y'all. We have to get to a place to, to realize what, what God is trying to get you to do is already in you. It is. It is. The chair on this table was already in the tree. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. That would. That's the that was, that's a potential from the tree. Mm -hmm. These benches were all, listen was already built into the tree. Your gift is already built Come on, into God. you. Yeah. Come Do you feel on. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you don't even know you're you're, you're doing it and, it, and it's something that you're doing naturally anyway. That's it. All right, but he's trying to use you on another platform. Hey, That's what I say. God searches the heart, man. Yeah. It is. God sees your circumstances, but he searches the heart. He don't look yeah. at outward appearance. That's right. Okay, and, and I know you might have you might have feel like that you're the least, just like Gideon. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When he right. came to when he came to Gideon, he said, "Gideon, you a mighty man of valor." But but Gideon didn't see that. All right. He didn't see that in himself. He said, Lord, are you sure you're talking to the right person? Because my family is the least in the land. My family is the least in the land. And guess what? I'm the least in my family. So I'm the lowest. But you calling me the mighty man of valor? And God said, listen, stop saying that. All right? Because I'm going to go with you. There's something in you that you don't even see. 
But because I'm sending you and I'm equipping you, you're going to be able to defeat everybody you come Amen. in contact with. Amen. Amen. The same thing with Moses. Moses said, well, you want me to go speak yeah. to Pharaoh? You want me to go talk to yeah. Pharaoh? Lord, I stutter. I can't talk. All right. But listen, God didn't let him get out of it, though. He didn't let him get out of it. He said, listen, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to send your brother Aaron with you because right. you're going to do this assignment. Yes, Amen. You're going to handle this assignment. It's you. I chose you, woman. I chose you, man. I chose you. I set you apart. Amen. Stop looking at everybody else to try to do the job that God called you to do. Do you feel what I'm saying? We have to get out of that, y'all. We're putting, we're putting God in a box. And, 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 scripture, and scripture goes on to say, like I said, he said, he would, listen, don't be afraid. Because they're going to come against you. Mm -hmm. come. People are going to come against yeah. you. God did not leave that out Jesus. on purpose. Mm -hmm. He said they will fight mm -hmm. against you. Mm -hmm. Your very people. Your very people. The kings of Judah. Mm -hmm. The priests. Mm -hmm. The priests, y'all. That's it. That's it. Did y'all hear me? Yeah. The priest is going to fight against the prophet of God. He said it's going to come. And even the nations over in Babylon, you're going to have some enemies, Jeremiah. There's no way around it. Because people don't, listen, because, of, because they, listen, it's hard for them to receive something from certain people. It ain't coming from the right person. Amen? Amen? It ain't coming from the right person. That's, little, that, that's just little Jeremiah. That's just little Jeremiah. That's it. He ain't, he ain't, who are you to tell me about what God is saying about the nation of, of Judah? Yes, who are you to come in this corporation oh, talking about you know something about yeah, this job? Right. Do you feel what I'm right. saying? Oh, yeah. Who are you oh, yeah. to come in here and tell me what I'm doing wrong in the house of God? Mm, yeah. Amen? The Bible. God is saying it. That's it. He was a prophet of God. So he said, listen, but don't listen, but don't be afraid. He, he said, because this day, this day, I have made you a fortified city. Good yes. God Almighty. I have made one person. I have made you a fortified city. I have made your walls as bronze. Bronze wall. Amen. I'm talking about one person. So that's what, when God sends you on an assignment, you are as strong as a fortified city. Yes, and whenever people try to come against you, they will not prevail. Ooh, amen. 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 So that's something to say amen about. Yes. Amen. That means you can go through anything. Amen. 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 God is going, he's going to protect amen. you. So we yes. got to get to that place, uh, men and women of God, that we stop limiting ourselves because you're amen. greater than what you see yes. right now. Amen. Okay? You're greater than that. You're more than that. You're Amen. more than a, listen, you're more than a conqueror. Yes. You don't just conquer. You annihilate what you walk through. Yes. Amen. Yes. You ace that thing. Yes. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yes. We have to believe that within ourselves, Amen. though. God is saying that about you. Amen. He's saying Jesus. it. Amen. Some of you right now are wrestling mm -hmm. with it right now. Yep. If you wasn't, he wouldn't allow me to say it. Amen. Right. You're wrestling right now mm -hmm. like you ain't never wrestled before. <laughs> this thing here is heavy on you. Do you feel what I'm saying? It's heavy on you. All right. It's all right. Because he's trying to pull you it's into right. something that's unfamiliar. It's all right. Okay? But he's already gone before you. It's all right. Just he, he, listen, Thank he's, he's the good shepherd. Y'all believe that, right? That's right. He's the good shepherd. A good shepherd always go before his Woo! sheep. Okay, and prepare a place. Yes. The place is already prepared. Thank you, Jesus. It's already ready. So what is he saying? He said, listen, son, daughter, get ready. And that last scripture, he said, prepare yourself. Right now. Okay, prepare yourself. Mm. Gird up your lawns. Put on your, put on your belt. That's listen, right. tie your shoes up tight. Come on now. Okay? Woo. If makeup going to get in the way, take your makeup okay. off. Right. Okay, if you're hand away, put it, put it in the bun, put it up, and do something. So you stop making these excuses. Do you feel what I'm saying? Oh, Lord, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yes. The minister said the lashes. Amen. 
Shikari Richardson lashes who run track. I'm a fan though, because that girl can run. Hey, Amen. Yes, she can. Move, get, that's what he's saying. Prepare yourself. Get ready for this so, because you're going to have to run. That's what the writer was saying. He said, because you're going to have to run. Yes. All right? This thing is coming quick, y'all. Yes. It's coming. Mm -hmm. He's saying, prepare yourself. Yes. Listen, we don't want to di be dismayed in the eyes of the people who's Amen. trying to dismay us. Right. Do you feel what I'm saying? God is trying to, listen, and he's calling you higher so you can be a light for yes. him. Do you feel what I'm saying? You're going to walk in blessings for yourself, but at the same time, you're going to be a light, okay, to your surrounding people, to ungodly people, Amen. to people who's trying to find a way home. Amen. All right? You're going to be that light. So it ain't just about you. Yes. You're going to walk in success. Right. Your cup going to run it over. Yeah. Do you feel what I'm saying? I'm speaking blessings over top now. Your cup will run over. It's going to run over. Scripture says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So if you believe it, stand on your feet and say, I am who God says I am. Say it again. I am who God says I am. I am who God says I am. Amen. Y'all give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 Develop a healthy self-image. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're more than that. Shoot, we more than that. Amen. Don't make them folks on the job make you feel like you're beneath. That's right. What's wrong with you? God called you. Amen. That's right. They, they ain't know who are they? Who are they? Amen. 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 Who's the government? In my book, amen. Amen. God, I believe God can use me to walk in the White House one day. Amen. Do what the, do what the Bible say, y'all. Amen. That's right. Amen. No, I ain't got the education, but I got God. That's right. That's right. I got God. He done did it before. That's why I believe Him, man. Amen. I believe Him. Yes. I told y'all I've been in them meetings where I felt like the dumbest person in the room. Jesus. That was a bad feeling, and I might have been. <laughs> I might have been, but I was there. That's right. God placed me there. That's right. For something. He did. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yes. I can't do this. Yes. I don't understand what they're talking about. I can't speak that language. Maybe you can't, but I'm going to place you there. Do you feel what I'm saying? Am I talking to anybody? Yes. Amen. Y'all give God another half of the table. The doors on the church are open. Amen. Amen. We offer Christ this morning. Amen. 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 A lot of times we have to constantly remind, remind ourselves who we are in Christ. Yes. Amen. Who we are in Christ. Amen. We offer Christ this morning. Amen. Maybe you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. You want to give your life to Christ. We bid you to come. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Maybe you want prayer. Amen. Maybe you've been dealing with some things. Amen. That's hindering you from being your best self. Maybe you want to intercede for some people. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Maybe you've been struggling to see yourself the way God sees you. Because you're listening to too many voices. Maybe you grew up in a house where everybody dogged you out. Okay? Because of your mistakes. Or maybe that's just the way they were. And you accepted that view. You accepted the fact they said that you are nobody. You ain't gonna ever do nothing. 
What make you think you can do that? And maybe you need to break free from that mindset. Because once you give your life to Christ, amen, you're a new creature. Amen. Amen. I'm going to say this to you. Even the people who are unbelievers, successful people, somewhere, somewhere down the line, they start to see themselves the way God saw them. Whether they realize it or not, they start to say, I'm good at this. I'm a, I got a gift in this. So I believe I can do it. Okay, but like I said earlier, with us, the difference is Satan tries to block us as believers. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Will there be anybody else? Amen. Come on up, Janisha. Amen. Praise God.